Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel and I am Marlon and I am a practicing real estate agent here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. But I also do these videos because I love the tech. So if you are ever uh, in need of a real estate agent in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you know, I would love to meet with you. Now the Android Q is out and it is in beta. There are some cool features that Android Q has that Android users would love. And it is available for uh, the Pixel 1, 2, and 3. So you know, you make sure you know what you're doing before you install it because it can have some issues. Um, you know, for me, I had to install it twice uh, to my Pixel phones. Um, before it was actually able to you know somewhat be stable um, but then I had to do a factory reset on one of them but nonetheless um, you know it, it it looks like the current version of Android Pie that's pretty much what it is um, the first one and then you know that I love is the theming where you can customize Android and to change the theme uh, you need to go to settings and go to system advance and developer options and then scroll all the way down until you see accent color and here you can actually change the colors uh, here is the black the green and also the purple um, frankly it's really not for me uh, but the options to change the theming uh, is up there uh, another one is that you can change the icon shapes uh, here you change it to a square look and then a teardrop and a square circle I guess is how you say it <laughs> it's more like a rounded uh, rectangle but then again, the rounded rectangle uh, option is there as well. Um, and another one is that you can access the emergency buttons just by holding the power buttons for about a half second or so. Uh, and then you're going to access you know, all the options there with uh, you know, power restart and then the um, emergency button again as well. Another cool feature uh, is the battery saver feature. Uh, here you can access it from the, one of the icons. And once you press that, uh, it turns black. Uh, you might not want to use that all the time because frankly, uh, you will uh, lose out on some notifications and uh, will not run in the background. So uh, if you turn on a battery optimization, I'm sorry, battery information, uh, it will show the percentage and the time left until the battery does run out. If you scroll down uh, on, you know, or sorry, swipe down from the top. And uh, another feature is the scheduler for the battery saver. Here you could turn it on. Uh, I guess it, you know, basically when you need to go to sleep uh, and you need to conserve the battery uh, per se and you can schedule that or there are times where you don't actually use it for example in a conference for or you're in the meeting or so and you want to save the battery when you are your last uh, juiced um, and another feature that i like is the screen recording um, here you can turn it on by going to developer options, uh, feature flags, or 10th setting or so, and then scroll down where it says um, your long press, setting screen record long press. Turn that on. Um, and then go ahead and press the power button for half a second, and long press the screenshot here you can actually record 
uh, their screen, I guess, <laughs> if, you, if you call it that way. Uh, I tried to do some tests here and try to record the uh, what's going on in my screen. It records fairly well. Uh, however, it did not record the audio. Um, I don't know if Android uh, developers are actually working on uh, recording the audio as well, but um, for the meantime, uh, for this current recording, uh, for this current version, uh, it's actually it's not capable of doing that. Um, here you can actually see that I am actually replaying what has actually been recorded and like I said, it did, it did quite well, but it did not record uh, the audio. And so, but overall, it's, you know, it's half decent or so. There are other apps out there to, to use that feature to record audio and what's going on and on the screen. But I guess for the meantime, this is, uh, it is what it is. Again, if you do decide that you want to revert back to your previous version of Android, uh, you need to opt out from one of your devices uh, on Google.com uh, where you actually wanted to sign up for the Android Q. Um, see, what happens is if you opt out, it will give you a notification from Google saying that you want to revert back and it actually does revert back to your previous version uh, so there's no really you know no harm done so if you like this video feel free to like and subscribe and see you next time